Hello and welcome once again to RimWorld. Now in the last episode we left off with a couple of things coming up. Uh, we've got constant break risks at the moment. Uh, not a lot I can do about those. The fires that we've got just up here but as it's raining I'm pretty sure they'll go out on their own. Tattered apparel. Well, No offence, but why are you wearing tattered apparel? Like, take it off. Because I'm pretty sure we've got something to replace what you're wearing. Like, why are you wearing that? Um, you know what, let's actually have a look. Anything. Edit. Okay, so the quality has to be normal or better. And it has to be above 60%. Yeah, that is now what classifies as anything. So my people should now actually go and change. At least they should yeah that will work right now I also want to set all of my guys to a number four in crafting because there's a lot like at this stage in the game most of the time you're sort of either growing or building stuff. And so the more that I get my crafting skill up with these guys, the better it's going to be for me. So obviously setting them to a low priority means they won't do it constantly. But, you know, when they've got spare chance and when they've got nothing else to do, they'll go and do some crafting. And it may just build up and eventually be better. I hope. Wow, that's getting bad. Uh, now, how is our steel? Okay, pretty good. I am going to deconstruct that. Re you've started a social fight. Oh. Sometimes I give up on these people. Why are they so silly? Uh, right, I want you to carry that shotgun, please, Blizzard. Could give him an incendiary launcher, but not really what I'd want to give him. Right, I also want a few more guns there. Because three just isn't really enough. Oh, damn, got away. Oh no, got it! <laughs> Perfect. Hey, if there's food within this area, I'm going to shoot it. Just makes sense. Uh, Ophelia. Oh, no, I don't want these going into battle and stuff with you. It is nice that you're like the wolf and dog master. I don't know why that makes me so happy, but it does. Awesome. That's 30 degrees currently. Nice. We're still doing pretty good on food. We got, what, 5,000 rice and 2,500 potatoes. 145 simple meals. I might make that. Like, I might increase that. I don't know. Then again, I think meals only stacked to 10, whereas potatoes and rice stacked to 75. So actually, no, I'm better off leaving it as it is. Now, what am I going to use these rooms for? This, at the moment, is a dumping stockpile, but this is going to become the next dumping stockpile. So, this was just a temporary, oh dear, we've got too much rubbish, where do I put it all? So, yeah. Right, 
We've still got Bison in her little prison cell. Hopefully she'll eventually decide to join us. No guarantees, of course, but... Hey, we're being nice to her, so... Maybe she'll see that. Right. I'm actually going to build out these. get these ready for when I have sort of two more growing zones in these areas uh, and I want a slate door should be uh, in the middle, shouldn't it? Looks like it. Yeah, if I get them built now, then uh, it means when I'm ready, I can roof them off and I will actually set them for the moment to be no roof zones. Uh, one of our batteries is broken down again, typical. Wow. To be honest, really I want this to become my new main entrance. So I might actually not have the door here. And this will force people to sort of use this as the main door and only come round this way for access. Yeah, you know what? That's actually a... Instead of cleaning dirt, how about putting out the fire? It's in our home zone. Like... Never mind, never mind. I, I really don't understand the colonists' logic sometimes. That's slightly worrying, having drugs in the base. I'm sure one of these idiots is going to take something at some point and nearly kill themselves. Now, I don't think I need more heaters. I think I'm just going to break these blocks and put vents in. Wow, that's 80 degrees in there. Uh, how about we deconstruct that wall there then? Kelly, do you want to uh, prioritise that? And then how about we just put this uh, vent there instead, shall we? Yeah, I have got these both set up with a vent. And that was a mega sloth. Hunt. Because Mega Sloths give a decent amount of meat. Now I'm not going to turn these into sort of contained growing zones like these ones straight away because obviously uh, we are running shy on power. So I don't really want to mess with that. Uh, let's build a copy of you here and then we can dismantle this one uh, Kelly how about you uh, and this one thank you 
Uh, we'll build a copy of the caravan spot there. And. Oh, they're both caravan spots. Okay, well, just get rid of both of them then. So that'll be our caravan parking spot. Oh, damn it. All my females are now wincing in pain due to a psychic drone. Typical. So that's going to go there. So, this is going to be five by nine. So, what have we got? We've currently got So, we've got the rice, we've got potatoes, we could do corn. We've got hay grass. We've Ah, we're going to need cotton. Because although we're growing devil strand, we do also need cotton. Um We've already got heel root. you what, I'm actually going to delete that one and sort of start again with it. That's slightly in the wrong shape. I'll bring you back in a minute once I've got what I want and then you'll see what I'm doing. Okay guys, uh, so it took me a little while to get it sorted and I had to sort of fill in the gaps so that I could work out in my head what I was doing. So we can clear these now so that my builders won't get confused and can actually build everything. Uh, that one's fine, they'll be able to build that from both sides. That one they're going to struggle with and that one they'll struggle with. So. Uh, yeah, actually, they could build that bit, couldn't they? So, here's my normal growing zones. Then, I've got... That. <laughs> I'm quite happy with how that turned out, to be honest. Uh, so, what this is, um, we've got... Psychoid. We've got hops. We've got corn. And we've got smoke leaf. Uh, because I don't really want to dedicate an entire grow zone to each of these products. The corn, maybe, but the rest of it, not so much. So I figured, well, let's just give it a quarter inch and see if we get enough. If we do get enough, then perfect. And if we don't, then, you know, I can go half and half with another one. But, so, that's how they turned out. And the good thing about this design is, it leaves that one square in the middle for my lamp. Perfect. That turned out really well. Just took me a little while to sort of work out in my head how to draw it out. And the problem is when you draw these out, if you get too close to the next one before you've laid a single square, it goes, oh, you want these connected and just connects them. So you have to sort of start it in a, a corner each and then expand it to where you want them. Um, so yeah, <laughs> little bit awkward, but it turns out to be kind of cool once you've got it done. Uh, I will also set... Oh good, a heat wave. Lovely. Um, yeah, orders, cut plants, 
just to clear all of the grass and rubbish out of those areas so that we can see the plants grow because it does make it a little easier and at some point I'm pretty sure you should grow or like replant our uh, heel root in there shouldn't you I'm hoping you will it is nice that we've managed to harvest all the heel root How much have we got now? 220. Nice. Pretty decent amount. Uh, oh, different person, that's why. Relaxing socially. I wish you'd finish the clothes you started. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to cancel it. Because there's no point leaving it there forever. We have some alpaca wool. Are we actually getting that off the alpacas ourselves? Like, are our people just getting the wool off them constantly? Oh dear. Ooh, that's a, that's a big amount of people. Um, everyone, move your butts inside. Animals. That is one of the best things that you can just mouse wheel down and scroll down and stuff. Uh, Ophelia and no, the animal shouldn't be with you constantly. Okay. Everyone run. Run, run. Quick, quick. Nadine, run. Run faster. Why are they faster than Nadine? Well, at least they seem to be. not our timber wolf that's fine our dogs are slow come on dogs oh no they've caught up to some of the dogs well that sort of one of them out though oh damn you A grizzly ha <laughs> they shot one of the grizzly bears and it got angry. <laughs> oh dear. Gits. We are doing remarkably well taking these guys out though. See if you can take out Frog. He's going to walk straight through. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, but we got him. Or her, I'm not sure. Um, doesn't say. Right. Uh, you lot can be free again. Koala? That's how I'm going to read that. Uh, wow, melee of 11. You're crafting though. Ooh. Crafting of 9. And passionate with it. Chemical interest. Well, damn you. And lazy. And yet. Gundoza. Go and capture her. Uh, I believe that is the only living one. Uh, Marjot, will you rescue that dog? Ophelia, will you rescue that dog? And all the weapons. Can be picked up, because let's face it, may as well. And suddenly there's loads of hauling jobs to do. 
laptop and I didn't set someone to rescue you, I'm sorry. Marjot's annoyed, but I don't really care. You're rescuing one of our pets. Fire. Oh, disappeared very quickly, so not a massive problem. Wow, severe illness. Carla. That's something I've never checked. Yeah, you're not that bad, to be honest. Um, chat and recruit. See if I can manage to get another person. Well, see if I can manage to get either of them, to be honest. Uh, you're beating out a fire. Oh, that's not that close. Uh, can you prioritise hauling the dog? Oh no, you died because of blood loss. I'm pretty sure that she was pregnant as well. Damn you people! Oh well, not a lot I can do about it. At least none of my people got caught outside. Uh, oh, that's a point. There we go. All our animals can help with hauling all the bodies. Look at them suddenly just shoot out there and grab them all. Uh, is slightly annoying that some of our turrets got blown up again. Like, no sooner have I built them as they get destroyed. It's like the game saying, no, no, you can't have nice things. Could, could one of you possibly, uh, Ophelia? If you wouldn't mind, just go and pull that grizzly bear in, because that's a lot of meat. And I don't want it brought in because, let's face it, we're in a heat wave. Which means things rot a lot quicker than normal. I really want them to reset that trap while that turkey is laying there because <laughs> I can just imagine they reset the trap and it immediately springs and kills the turkey. Oh, I've got to see if that happens. Oh, I can rescue it. I, d I don't want to select the turkey though. can't tell him to prioritise fixing that by the looks of it. Damn it. Uh, tell you what, just hunt the turkey then. Extreme rate break risk. To blizzard. Urgently hungry. Well go and eat then. it when they're, they're starving to death while sleeping. It's like, if I'm hungry in the middle of the night, like to the point of starving to death, I'm pretty sure I'd wake up and go and eat. But never mind, never mind. Oh, Noel's given birth. Awesome. So we've got uh, two new little puppies, both male, unfortunately. Uh, no, not to be following her around constantly. Oh, awesome, all of these have been planted now. A rat has self to No. Just no. At no point will I ever be happy that a rat has decided to just join our colony of its own accord. Copy those settings, paste them there. To be honest, yeah, just leave that as a dumping stockpile for the moment. May as well. It's not hurting anyone. Ooh, cargo pot. With some corn. Nice. Just about to start trying to grow that. 
Uh, right. Dig out. Those for the doors, and I'll build up walls along there as well. What is my construction at? It's a second priority for you. Well, you're probably dealing with the animals constantly, aren't you? Who else? Kelly, you're asleep. Ophelia, but again, she does the handling. Andreas, you're asleep again. Oh, you are building. Ah, you're doing this building work first, which is why you never seem to be building down there. Okay, that's fine then. I don't mind that. Because I would like to get this reactor up and running as soon as possible. I'm just going to have home zones dotted around the whole map at some point. I'm just going to fill that in because if a fire starts in the middle there, it's just going to be annoying. Uh, we really don't need that as a home zone, though. Like, no need whatsoever for that bit to be home zoned. Also going to need this to be home zoned soon. Perfect. Right. Got that and two tiles to build. Lovely. Now the reason I tile this is because fires can't spread over the tiles uh, unless it's a flammable tile itself. Oh good, a mad animal. Well, come and get shot then. Ha ha. Serves you right. Oh, uh, yeah, look, some of this is being built now, finally. Okay. Item stash opportunity. An AI persona call. Yeah, you know, we've got a few of them already, so... Thanks, but we'll skip this one. Uh, and that, I think, is where I'm going to leave this episode off, guys. So we've got a bit done. We've started uh, closing in these new growing zones. We've almost finished all the work over here. All that's left is to actually put down a geothermal generator and see if we can build it. Uh, but yeah, so gone pretty decently. Our batteries are filled. Hooray. That's excellent news. We've finally got electricity again. Um, so yeah, 